Welcome back everyone to Country Living Cooking with Salad Master. Join Wilda and Bianca as they put Salad Master to the test with the traditional Nigerian dish, jollof rice. For this you will need parboiled rice, crushed tomatoes, red onion and red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, red jalapeno, curry powder, thyme, bouillon cubes, fresh garlic, and fresh ginger. This is paired with spinach tomato pesto tilapia, for which you will need those exact things, tilapia fillets, spinach, and tomato pesto. The meal is topped off with vegetable juice that includes red bell pepper, tomato, carrots, celery, sweet potato, and fresh ginger. Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Country Living with Salad Master. Today we are going to put Salad Master to the test. My friend here, Bianca, has been pestering me on how to cook an ethnic dish on yes. this pot. So today we are going to put it on the test. Yes. And uh, she's going to do what is called jollof rice, which is uh, mainly from the western part of Africa. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cook tilapia, which is most people from Africa actually love tilapia, especially yes. Kenyans from the... <laughs> From the lake, lake region, lake region, <laughs> from the lake region, yes, lake region, and also Mombasa. So yes. All right. So uh, our drink today will be a vegetable drink, and the vegetable drink will consist of um, sweet potatoes. We'll have some celery, some carrots, some tomatoes, and red bell pepper. Wow, that sounds like an interesting combination. Not many people would juice those vegetables together, so it sounds it sounds good. All right, so Miss Bianca, we are going to start with the rice. Okay, so we're going to do jollof rice today. And uh, basically what you do with jollof rice, I don't tamper with it at all in, in regards to frying the onions and whatever first. She advised me <laughs> <laughs> that we shouldn't do that. If it was a regular pot, we, okay. would, we would then just fry the onions and separately, separately and, and, and then okay. put all the other stuff together. But today it's just going to be one step and the real test of this rice is if it sticks to the bottom because if you're a true jollof rice cook, cooking person you'll know that it really that's the difficult part of it and parboiled rice is kind of um, very technical to maneuver so what we're going to do is just basically put all our ingredients in and okay. just blend them all right. that's, the, that's the best way to do jollof rice and in my experience jollof rice is great when you use the crushed if you don't have crushed tomatoes, any kind of canned tomatoes, the taste will be a little better than, than the fresh than, tomatoes. Than the fresh tomatoes. You can, but if you prefer, it's according to your taste. Then. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, pour the sauce in. Okay. And there's tomatoes, right? Yes, these are crushed tomatoes. Okay. In puree. So. We're going to do this. And then we have our thyme. Mm -hmm. And uh, I go ahead and use um, two beef bouillon cubes okay. mm -hmm. from Nord. Okay. Or whichever bouillon you want. If you have fresh, you can, I mean, the powder one, you can put in that and some curry powder. Then garlic. Mm -hmm. And always fresh, fresh, fresh people. <laughs> okay. Fresh, you want your real jollof, everything has to be fresh. No powder. I love fresh. No I love powder. Fresh. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, will, it won't cut it. Okay. So what we'll do is I'll use half of these first, the red pepper. Okay. So I'll just do half of them and spin this thing around so we can get everything evenly blended up. So and I'll throw in a little bit of some onions. So like halfway through the process, then I'll just put in the remainder. The remainder of the, the remainder okay. of the okay. ingredients. Okay. Ingredients. And so what, what is this on the okay. side? That's the scotch bonnet. The red one is is the best, but um, where we are right oh, now, this red says, one right here. Yes, this okay. is red jalapeno. Okay. Okay. So red jalapeno, if it's in season, is mm -hmm. another kick that I like to put in it. Okay. And the scotch bonnet, oh, the okay. hot one. But there's the ha or habaneros, as people call them. Uh, but the red ones are good, but as you know, mm -hmm. we have a lot of stuff that's not in the store. Right yeah, now. right. So, now, yeah. Well, we should get the right flavor. So I add that last because it, it will make you, <laughs> it 
It is hot. I know, I don't like hot, but we'll yes. try it. We'll see how it goes with our tilapia. And then this is your secret right here because it's a little, <laughs> someone passed it on to me. A very authentic Nigerian person. Oh, wow. Liquid smoke. It just gives a little bit of a smoky flavor to your so do we to add your it on there right yes. now? We just oh. add just a dash of it. It will just give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. That's it. And this is what we usually use when you barbecue inside. But now the salad master is great, so you don't need you, to put that. No, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to use my liquid smoke anymore. But I retain it for the jollof rice and everything. So. You notice we didn't put salt. We don't cook with salt. And bouillon cubes or bouillon itself already has enough salt. Already have enough yeah, salt. Yeah, so you don't you don't need to do that. Okay. So we're going to use the lovely, let me see if I can remember, MP5, right? MP5, there you I got go. it. <laughs> so we're gonna use the MP5. And of course, we washed our rice before. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like, most some people prefer to soak it overnight if you really wanna get really technical but because we're using the salad master you don't need to soak anything so oh, yeah. see so no soaking time but just make sure you wash your rice which yeah. we did so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the pot first and let it like simmer up with the salad master you don't <laughs> have to do that what oh. you do is just Pour the rice inside, pour your mix inside, pour it and just cover it up and you're good to go. Anyway. There we go. So we have skipped another step where I do not have to let my <laughs> to rice wait for simmer, it simmer. Yeah, no, you don't simmer have down to wait and for really it simmer. <laughs> separate, no oil, nothing. So, so you put the rice first. Okay. So here we go. Salad master is in the test right now. <laughs> I hope everything comes out okay. See, I'm learning and I think we're we're doing great. I've skipped about four or five steps of what I regularly do. Okay, so, so for your um, and and me. And this, I wish I used Salad Master whenever I worked in the restaurant and I cooked up meals because this would have cut my time in half because I would have time to go in is early. Cut in half. And yeah. If you noticed, we did not use any oil in it. No oil at all. So it's the it's a healthy jello fry. Yeah. And I fry. smell. The habaneros and oh, I can smell it from here. That's why I'm not coming near there. So no, <laughs> you can mix that. Right. So we're ready to mix. Okay. And we've got a nice red. So ooh, I can already that smell it. So yummy. And, and no water. Eat it. And no water. That's right. So I save water. <laughs> <laughs> I save water because you know usually like we buy mineral water or yeah. you know purified water to cook with so that saves some money too so okay. great I guess so. and yeah. because the crushed the pureed tomatoes also have water in them so yeah. 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 all right so, so and then so for this rice, I think you use um, 450 on your regular rice on my regular rice but this is jello fries so we can Okay, we'll attend, we'll start it at 250. We're gonna do 255 on this one because okay. because of just the, the nature of the, of the grain of the rice, the rice and okay. because of the sauce. So let's put it to the test and we'll be right back to see the finish rice. Okay. The jello fries is cooking, so hopefully Salad Master will pass the test. I bet you it will. Anyway, so we are going to do our tilapia. And uh, last time we did uh, the salmon, so we are going to use tilapia. We're going to use uh, almost the same method. So nice. I'll I'll put my spinach and then our frozen tilapia. It's still frozen, as you can see. Came straight from the freezer. So that pretty much is like um, the salmon. Yes, pretty much pretty like much. the salmon, but we will not use the basil salmon. We will use a tomato. Yay. Yes, so that's the 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 twist to it. Yes, the twist to it. Oh, I'm sure that's gonna be great. Pesto is tomato pesto is one of the best and favorite. And Steffi's too. Steffi loves <laughs> <laughs> It's my new favorite now. Your new favorite. Yes. Okay. 
So I've layered my um, my tilapia at the bottom, and uh, this is the tomato basil. So it's all tomato with some olive oil on it. So I'll put that on top of the tilapia. That looks amazing, you know, that eliminating the frying, you know, we usually coat tilapia. Mm -hmm. Yes, tilapia and you can actually do it too. Yes, and then you... <laughs> if it's not cooked it like, mm -hmm. like you fry it, deep fry, then yes. you can't, I cannot eat it myself. Plus, Salad Master, again, contains all the smells within your kitchen. Yes, like the, the jello fries, I cannot even smell anything. Yeah. And we are not sweating. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is one good thing. Yes, I will be standing by the fire and opening all windows and stuff. And it's the summertime, it's getting hot, so that doesn't really work out well. So this is perfect. So look at that with jello fries on top, probably. Oh, yes. Perfect. All right. So you can actually just leave it like this and just cover it. But for me, I like a lot of uh, spinach. So I'll just put some spinach on top. You know, I like the salad master because of just the way it's like one, one pot meals, one pot everything, one pot combination. And, and you're done, and you're eating a bunch yes. that like the keto people, all the keto people out there, this is the best meal for you to eat. So I'll turn on my temperature. In my time. So do we cook this at the same temperature as the salmon? or is It's just 450 by 15 minutes and it's done. 15 minutes. 15 minutes and it's done. 15, 15 minutes because it's too thin. It's all done and ready to be served. Wow. So if you're not eating anything else, if you're not a carb person, you're just yes. eating your vegetables and your meat. You got your meal right there. 15 minutes. Right. Now I can go take a shower, <laughs> do whatever I need to do, 15 minutes, come back. I don't need to worry about burning body or anything. I've already right. set my time. I just go and everything is done. So okay. we're going to do our vegetable juice that will go with our jello fries and our tilapia. Here we are. Start with my carrots. Next, we're going to put our celery. Next, we're going to put my favorite ginger. Mm -hmm. This is a must have in your kitchen, especially this COVID season. Mm -hmm. You need to have ginger in your life. <laughs> This should be yeah. good for our skin. <laughs> That's right. All right. So, more bell pepper. You would actually think that a sweet potato or a bell pepper wouldn't be good in juice or that no juice would come out of it. But truly, technically speaking, is vegetables have their own water. And you can mm -hmm. at any time. All the time.
Thank you all for joining us on this episode of Country Living Cooking with Salad Master. Here at the Bart W. Farm, we want to remind you that good things are meant to be shared. So be sure to like the video and share it with your friends and family, as well as subscribe to the channel. For more information regarding anything in our videos, contact us at the number or email below. Be sure to tune in next Tuesday for another ethnic recipe. And as always, thanks for watching.